Hello there, a very good morning. You're watching Proactive London and joining us today from Mercia Asset Management, it is Peter Dines. A warm welcome to you. Looking forward to learning more about what you do on a day-to-day basis and more about the investments that you have in your portfolios there. So a warm welcome, Peter. Morning, Katie. Good to see you. Good to see you. So tell us all about it. What do you do on a day-to-day basis and describe the genesis of the firm, if you would. So my role at Mercia is primarily I, I oversee uh, EIS and VCT business. So Mercia is a listed asset management company. We've got circa a billion under management, and that's split between three assets, venture capital, private equity, and, and debt funds. And the, a key part of our venture capital business are the EIS and the VCT sides of the business that I oversee. Okay, and what investments are you making? Just give us some examples, if you would, Peter. Sure. So um, a broad array of technology businesses. So our, our strategy is we we have eight offices in the country, and so we have an investment team that are based in those offices. Uh, our, our plan and our, our tactics are to make sure that we're out in, within the regions of the UK, and, and so actively scouring for, for new opportunities through, throughout the UK rather than just being London-based. Um, and my background um, personally is... Um, an entrepreneur in medical devices. So I, I have a particular interest in healthcare and life sciences investments, but we have a team with a, a wide uh, range of experiences. Um, so bro- broadly technology investments, uh, are the type of investments that we're investing in at a relatively early stage in for our EIS funds, um, but then at the scale up stage and series A stage for our VCT funds. Mm-hmm. And when you say you're scouring the UK, how do you go about finding these investments? Um, networking, uh, really. So a whole a whole wide range of different networking uh, activities. Um, and we're, we're linked with the universities. We have 19 university partnerships. Um, we, we're linked with lawyers and accountants. And, and a key part of our network actually is we, we've, we've built a, a non-executive director network of about about a thousand individuals who who are a key part of our, our deal flow and, and that they're a trusted source they know what we do we've worked with them before and, and often when also they're involved with opportunities uh they'll be recommending that they the company should speak to mercia all right when you say you focus on sort of healthcare life sciences is that sort of a post-pandemic um strategy or has that always been the case for you yeah it's it's always been our strategy so so it's it's probably about a third of what we do is is healthcare and life sciences and then a big part of what we do is is um software and software enabled businesses um and then also other what we call deep tech that is ip rich businesses that are maybe in advanced materials or engineering that those are also sectors that we're interested in Mm-hmm. And can you maybe just cherry pick for us and just indulge us one that you're particularly proud of, perhaps? Um, yeah, so a, com- a company um, that we exited actually from our EIS funds was a company called Native Antigen. Mm-hmm. So this, this was a University of Birmingham spin out, um, and it was fo- its strategy was developing antigens and antibodies um, for what ne- we all now know, um, but we. Most of the market didn't know um, when we first invested around infectious diseases. Oh. So um, that company were involved in uh, developing things for basically looking at the World Health Organization and, and what infectious diseases were developing. And then they would then develop the antigens and the antibodies for um, for the vaccines um, and for the diagnostic tests. So back in 2020, when COVID um, uh, appeared, that, that company was ahead of the curve from January when, when the, um, the the genome had been mapped in, from China. And, and so they were able to be uh, developing the antigens and, and then selling those to diagnostic companies and vaccine companies that, that then obviously um, <laughs> solved the pandemic or hopefully solved the pandemic. And then we actually um, exited that company in July 2020 um, mm-hmm. for a, um, an eight times multiple on, on our investment. So a, a very successful investment, but also um, something that I'm sure um, your viewers will will understand now, um, get, given the global pandemic we've had for the last two years. Mm. And proving that timing is absolutely key as well. Um, what would you say that Mercia brings to the table? You've mentioned your expertise in these areas as well. What would you say is about Mercia that puts you up against your, your competition? 
Yeah, so so um, pounds and cash is is just a, a commodity. So it, it very much is around our, our experience, um, both from uh, growing and and selling companies. Um, so me, very often the entrepreneur is doing this for the first time. So so we can, we can be a, a trusted advisor to to help them grow their companies um, as well as our network. So we we have a whole array of partnerships that we can we can provide. So for example, a software company we've got a partnership with. AWS that, that gives um, hosting uh, discounts, um, or we if the company needs a new non-exec chairman or an advisor, then through that network that I mentioned of, of a thousand or so high quality individuals, we, we can place those individuals um, for them to, to help grow the company. Sounds good. Well, Peter, that's given us that's a good idea of, of what you do there at Mercia Asset Management. So thank you very much indeed for sharing your expertise there. That's Peter Dines here on Proactive London. Thanks, Katie.